when this is all over said and done, what type of legacy would you like to leave behind for your next generation? Hey, I'm Jason Cheney. And I'm Cece. And we're a husband and wife team, and we're dedicated to helping you reclaim your physical and financial health. So today, on today's installment of Chat with Cheney, we have a very, very serious topic. Legacy. Mm. And so, not just legacy, but what type of legacy do you want to leave behind for the generations to come? And what would you tell them? Mm. And so today, we're going to actually share two things that we would actually share uh, with our legacy and to keep the generations going. And so let's kick it off to CC. All right. So this is a really cool topic. Jason and I were kind of thinking, what do we want to talk about on Chat with the Chinese today? And I thought, you know, what about this legacy thing? Yeah. So one of our mentors did a training um, for us in our entrepreneurship community. And they were talking about uh, their family, right? They have He has two nephews uh, that are now college days, right? From boys to men, right? And they decided as a family that they wanted to pass some important life lessons down to them. So they got grandpa involved and aunts and uncles and mom and dad. And they all came together and put together a capsule. They did like a PowerPoint full of life lessons. Things like um, how to handle relationships, marriage and, and business and money and all of these things that I thought was really powerful. And I, I kind of looked at Jason and I was like, people do this? Like, what? My mind was blown because one, I thought it was absolutely brilliant, and two, I was like, dang, my parents aren't here, and they didn't leave me something like this. So I thought, wow, that's really powerful, and then when we were talking about Chat with the Chains today, he said, you know, we don't have kids of our own. We don't have a generation to pass a message out to, but we have you, and we love you, and we thought we could share some important lessons um, that you can use in your own life as well. So that's what we're doing today, Jason. So what what lesson would you like to share? The lesson I would like to share, and before I say it, like, just to give you a quick background, we didn't, we're not trust fund babies. Yeah, people say like, oh, you're living in paradise, you live overseas, you just left the world, left the United States and quit your job. It wasn't easy. <laughs> and it was a sacrifice. And we went broke twice. <laughs> and, but with all that said and done, it's, anyone can do this. Anyone. And with this one, like, it's funny because every last one of my mentors, high performance coaches, people that I look up to, uh, whether it's Damon John, Judge Lynn Toller, Ray Higgin, Ray Higgins, uh, uh, oh man, I just forgot his name. He goes, oh, Robert Kiyosaki. <laughs> he going to get me on that one. <laughs> but all of these people, none of them came from wealth. None of them came from money. None of them came from a very supportive family. They came, what got them where they wanted to be was one thing, mindset. Mm -hmm. They had the mindset that they wanted to be successful in life no matter what. Yeah. And Robert, like I read, I read Robert's books every day. I listen to him on audio, and he talks about it, nine years old. He told his dad, "I want to be rich." And after that, he literally, at nine years old, went to his best friend's um, dad, who was an uh, entrepreneur, and said, "Teach me business. I don't want to have to work for a check and be poor." And I'm talking about at nine years old. Like that is a mindset. Like it, I'm 37 now, and I'm just now starting to get that type of mindset. Like that is amazing. And so for me, what the mindset is, it goes to, there's nothing you can't do in this world. No matter what your limitation is, no matter what people are telling you, no matter what your education level is, no matter what the color of your skin, your religion, there is nothing in this world you cannot do until you say you cannot do it. Mm -hmm. And without getting emotional, like for me, this is very, 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 it hits home for me now because... Not only did I grow up in not the best communities, uh, not, you know, my mom and dad are both alive, but my father, I never met him a day in my life, and he lived literally like less than three blocks away from me. Think about that. That's the type of neighborhood I grew up in, and I'm grateful for that. It used to be days I was I was resented. I was so angry, like, oh, I could go kill that ML. Like, oh, how could you do this? How could you leave a boy behind? But, you know, I'm so grateful now, and the reason why I'm so grateful for him is because my mindset changed. Mm. I am no longer that person that's angry, that's full of resentment. Well, full of as much resentment. Let me not say I'm not, because I am still, still getting better. Yeah. <laughs> I still have errors to get better. I'll share that story with you tomorrow. Um, but, like, I'm, I'm grateful for it. Everything, like, the drug dealers in my life, the pimps, the prostitutes, the people that was, like, that picked on me. Everything in my life I am so grateful for because it led me to this day today. And... 
there's still people in my neighborhood when we, well, when we're able to go back. They still know me. Cece's seen them, and she's like, wow, you really lived here. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, it is what it is, but it's to show you that, like, anybody can be successful and with a proper mindset. Really think about this. Let's take social media. We live in the world of social media. What if we lived in a world where trolls, people trolling your accounts was like, hey, Cece, you looking good, girl, get it. You're glowing today. What kind of world would that be if your troll is positive? Like... Things hard to even imagine. Yeah, it's like hard it's, to even imagine. so many of us can't even imagine it. Like even when like I see someone do something or they have a celebration, I'm like, hey, I'm so happy for you, congratulations. Like send a, a, a cute meme or a gift, and people are like, oh man, thank you so much. And I'm like, why isn't more people doing this in the world? It's the mindset. How many of us are living trying to compete with one another instead of lift one another up? We don't have to compete. There's so much of everything to go around this world. If a young boy from the inner city can make it and now live in another country being an expat and trying to reach his dreams of being more and provide more to this world, why can't you? And just so you know, like my, I don't want people to think that what I've been through is difficult. It's all relative. The law of relativity, everybody has a difficult life. I personally feel Cece had a worse upbringing than me. Because she lost her parents. I, I don't I didn't have those loving parents like her mom. And I didn't get the chance to meet her dad. But I yearned for that my whole life. To have a mother that loved me. Mm -hmm. To just hold me. Say, hey, I love you. And not being something physical. And when her mom lost, like I felt like I lost something I could never get. But now I know that I can. Yeah. Because it's inside of me. And that's because of my mindset. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I went a little deep there. That was powerful. That was really powerful. <laughs> And what about you, CC? You know, I'm just going to chime off of what you said here because I think that you bring up some really good points about the mindset that we have, right, and the way that we attack life. Um, Jason is right. I lost my parents at, at a young age. I definitely don't think that I had an easier <laughs> upbringing. Because <laughs> I, I had really great, I had really great parents. I mean, my dad um, struggled with, with alcoholism, and that was very difficult as a child to deal with. Um, and my parents were immigrants, and they did not understand how America <laughs> worked, and they did not understand money, and they did not understand a lot of things. And they weren't able, I mean, they taught me many things, but they weren't able to pass a whole lot along because we all thought we would have more time. And as you're talking about this idea of mindset and, you know, really recognizing that, that you can be more, you know, Les Brown says, it's possible. You know, I watched that just yesterday, and that's a mindset to believe that it's possible for you to be more, to believe it's possible for you to show up in the world a different way, to believe that you are capable of doing these things. That's all about your mindset. And Jason and I really struggled for a long time with not the best mindset. We had sort of a negative orientation. We thought life was happening yes. to us and we didn't have much control over it. And at some point we had to make a decision that we could continue to live in our history. We could continue to live out these old patterns in our, of our families or we could set a vision, we could cast a vision for our, our lives and decide to do something different. That's why we moved across the <laughs> world. That is why we decided to take our health back. That's why we got into business because we casted a vision that we could be more and we could do more and we could show up in a different way. And you have that same capacity. You have that same ability. It is possible for you should you decide that you're okay with getting a little bit uncomfortable and starting to radically change your mindset. Oh man, we hit you deep today. <laughs> I hope you want brought your pen and paper. But like, it's mindset. Like I want to I want to break down three words that you should have heard in this right now: mindset, decision, and vision. Those are the only three things you need in life. That's the trifecta for success: mindset. Decision and vision. You cannot get success without any, with any one of those missing. If one's missing, you're going to be missing something in life, and it's going to show up. And and that's something that we really, really care about. And so that's why we're bringing this to you. And so let's go ahead and end it, CC. Before we, <laughs> I know this is a deep one. You this got a lot a, of notes. This was a good one. Thank you so much for joining us for this today. We want to hear what message you want to pass down to the next generation? What message you want to get out there into the world? Drop those down in the comments below. Join the conversation with us. And if you're somebody who's saying, you know, I've been struggling with a negative orientation. I've been struggling with my mindset. I'd like to transform that a little bit. Shoot Jason and I, yeah. or I a message, and we are going to send you some resources to help you on that journey. Otherwise, we look forward to chatting with you soon. Ciao. Ciao.